Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today I am going to make a lantern for Halloween. It's a little bit more complicated than what I normally do for all of my decorating, but it's a Ramon from at home, I think is what his name is, um, inspired. Uh, I'm not going to copy exactly what he did, but I really liked what he did and I thought it was really pretty neat. So, Let's get started. Number one. Okay, we're going to need scissors, of course, and your choice of ribbon. I want three different styles and three different sizes. I all got them from the Dollar Tree, and they'll be enough because we're going to make a bow. And then you'll need uh, twist ties or zip ties, anything of that style thing. You're going to need some Spanish moss or raffia, if that's what you have, that would work as well. Uh, a nice crow, got this one from the thrift store. Um, at the thrift store, or thrift store, Dollar Tree, I got this uh, black spider. Hang on one second, let me show you something. It's going to take me a second, sorry, should have had it here. Dollar Tree has the spider webs. And I have another use I'm going to do with the spider webs later on. So what I did was pull the spider off because I'm not going to need the spider for what I'm going to do later. Now let's see. Toss it over there. Good. There it went. All right. So we're going to use the spider. Then I have a um, from the Dollar Tree again. Uh, these little bats. We're not going to use all of them. I just have them here so I can decide which ones I want to use. And of course, I'm dropping things as usual. These came off with some of my picks, and I figure when I put them together, I'll figure out where they belong. And they'll just twist them up. So then I have assortment of picks. I have, this came from the thrift store. It's tree branch type of thing. Uh, they're kind of muted colors, so to me they look rather Halloween. And then I grabbed a purple of those spiky type of things. Um, and I'm going to layer it on there. Then I have from, this came from Michael's, and they had a 40, 50%, or was it 60% off? I am sorry, I don't remember. Bought them about two, three weeks ago on their picks. Anyway, I didn't pay a whole lot for it, so I'm going to start layering it in just exactly the way I want it to go on top of that. And then I have more of the Dollar Tree. This is the gold or orange color. And lay it on top of that one. Then from the Dollar Tree, I mean, no, this one, I'm sorry, this was uh, Walmart. Uh, they have a pick of, uh, has two pine cones and an orange and a pumpkin. See the pumpkin face? Isn't he cute? I think he looks adorable. Anyway, I'm going to layer that on there, spread them out so that they have a chance to kind of spread out and even out a little bit. Don't be afraid to spread things out. You can always push them back if you don't like what they're doing. We're going to layer them down. And then again at Michael's was uh, this got a little witch's hat with a spider on it and this in the purple spider web and it was really cute so I'm layering it here. So when we put the two or the two all of them together we have a nice um, branch like this. And then I'm personally going to use zip ties. Unfortunately for me, I thought I had a bunch of smaller ones and I don't have it, so I have to use the big one. I hate wasting big ones like this for little projects, but I wasn't running out to the store just to go buy some at the moment. So I'm going to stick, oops, put it on right and you'll do well. Going to stick it through and zip tie this together nice and snug, making sure it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Okay, looks like I think I got that branch in the wrong location. Do I? No, there we go. You want them snug enough that they'll hold into place. And see how that looks? Now I don't have it super snug. After all, there we go. Come on, let's go snug up on me here. There, there we go, finally. 
So there is one. Doesn't that look pretty interesting? And you'll see where I'm going in a moment. So let's do the other side just the same. Did I? There's another one of those branches that I got from the doll. I'm from the thrift store. It was in a flower arrangement. I got it for three bucks, and they have all kinds of different flowers. So I took it apart because it's going to be um, some of it I'm going to use for Thanksgiving. And so let's just keep layering till we achieve the look we want. Or that I want. <laughs> I'm going to lay it down. He's all set and ready to go. Who are we winded today? I wonder why. Colorado here comes Thursday. And this is only Monday, but maybe I'm already feeling it. We're going to have a nasty little snow snowstorm supposed to come in. And I tend to be sensitive to all of that. And these are all spread out. So we've got all of that layer. And again, with another zip tie. Let's see how we can arrange this so it really holds. I should just, you know, gone over and said, when I get it all done, I'll be back. But if I didn't do it, sorry. There we go. And now, I have two of them on here. They're both looking the same. So then I'll take my scissors and I'll cut off that excessive part here because we don't want any of the zip tie really hanging out. There we go. I'm not taking my scissors on something that tough. Now what we're going to do is join them together like this, because we're going to put it here like that. I think it's going to look interesting when we get done. So now I'm going to zip tie those together. Now that I've discovered where I want them to be. Come on here. There we go. Push them totally up into each other. Camouflage the stems. And there we go. And now it's stuck on there. Boy, that's some tough stuff there. <laughs> so, aren't those cute? I think it's going to look really nice. So now I'm taking a chenille stem or an old fashioned pipe cleaner. And we're going to just. Take it, oh, I gotta put two of them together because around that and my stem, they're not quite long enough or barely. Now this will be too long, but what you wanna do is take two of them, twist them together like this, and then I separate them out like that. And then the one on this end, I don't know if you can see that or not. See, it's like that. And then one end on this side, I take and I wrap it around itself on that side, and then one on this side, and then you have joined them together so they're not gonna come apart. And they hold very nicely. So, I'll wrap it around it, like, because now it's too long. I'll give it a couple of wraps so it'll hold it more sturdy. And then I'm going to place it on here where I want it, and then I'm going to give it a good twist. And then you can use zip ties here if you want. Uh, I personally want to be able to take it off, so I'm not going to zip tie it on here. And then I'll just tuck in the, the rest of the chenille down in where you're just not gonna see it so much. Use it the back of the lantern, but depends on your view. I think that's starting to look really pretty neat. I like it. A lot. Okay, now let's take some ribbon. All right, now I'm not a bow maker, never claim to be, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna take three different colors and three different sizes. I have the bigger one, the medium size one, and a smaller one. Now, I chose these colors because that's what I'm doing this year as my theme. So we're going to just take and wrap it as a bow around this way. And then we're going to take a bow and keep it down like this. And we'll bring it back up. And I want to make sure it's going to be the right size. I don't want to get too big of a bow. 
too much of a bow is just not going to work. I don't want it to be too flouncy. And then technically, give it a twist because these are only one-sided bows. And we'll do another one right here and give it a twist and back up. And that's all I'm going to do for the bows in terms of how many bows. I don't need any more than that. All right, and, or loops to the bow. And then we're gonna just twist and twist and twist. And, okay, here we go. Boy, there's a lot more black ribbon than the purple ran out already. Isn't that amazing? Oh well. So now I'm gonna take this and I am going to wire it on to where to help cover up all of the stems. There we go. Let's make sure all of this holds into place. And then I'm just going to fluff out my bow. I think it looks really pretty. And I have, oh, I'm going to need, and I don't want to get too long on the ribbon. But I think right about there is good enough. So I'm just going to cut it off right there. And then I'm going to dovetail my ribbon. So if you don't know how to dovetail, because I've seen women go this way and that way, or people, let's put it that way. That's harder to make it even. Take it and fold your ribbon in half. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Right there, fold it in half, and then start at the bottom and go at a triangle angle. So you're cutting off what looks like a triangle. See? And when you get done, you have the perfect dovetail, the triangle. And it'll work on any of them, even this little guy. It's tinier and it's harder to do, but it can be done. And my purple one, same way. Just fold it and go at an angle. Now, all of them, oh, that one didn't dovetail as pretty because of the cutouts. It made it weird, but that's all right. Still didn't hurt. So, here is how, now, I you need to fluff it and make sure the bow, and if there's a need for another, to your opinion, you want the bow bigger, maybe I should have done one more loop, I think. Right here, that could have been another loop going in there, but, oh, well, I didn't get it. Maybe next time, or maybe I can add one if it bugs me, but I don't think it's really bothering me because I do have all this hanging down, and I think that really did turn out really neat. Okay, now the next thing I'm doing is inside. I have one of these lovely candles, and they just turn on, so I'm going to turn it on, and inside here I have an antique I don't know what they used it for back back in the day, but it has a pair of tongs and stuff. I just keep it together so I'm not losing the tongs with it. But for Halloween, I'm going to use it in there. So now, here comes the messy bit, but I have gotten the Spanish moss. And I am gonna just place, well, let's go to the back. Let me take the candle out for a second. And let's put Spanish moss back behind it back there. This is kind of just to add for the creep factor. I didn't know how much I was going to need, so I grabbed two containers, but it looks like one, once you spread it open, is going to work beautifully, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that's actually probably plenty right there, because we just want to make sure it fills it in. Maybe a little bit more right in here. And then we'll put my candle back in there. And then here's where I thought I'll put my spider. Now this is my own twist. You know, um, Ramon, he did pumpkins. And I thought, no, I don't really want to do a pumpkin. I want to do um, my candle in there. So isn't this pretty? I, I don't know if it's me. I need to come see it from your angle, I think because I've seen it from back here and it looks really good. Back there, I might be gapping more than I realize, you know? 
or front side of it. But on the back side, it still looks good. Let me come, oh, yes, I forgot. Hmm, it's not quite as easy to put this in as I was thinking it was going to be. Where do I want to put the, I'm going to just nestle, I don't want to hide my hat. I think I'm just going to nestle the black crow. I might not be able to do that. I might not be able to, as easy as I thought. Hmm, and where's a better place to put it? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. So let me come back after I figure out where I'm going to really put my crow. Okay, I kind of nestled him in right there. I had a hole in my lantern here, and he has this funny little kind of a triangle wedged metal stand, so it makes him so he can stand, and I was able to wedge him in there with the stand, and I think it looks really cute. I think it's just the right look for my, it's going back on the coffee table where I had it for fall, but it'll have other accessories around it instead of uh, um, the same old stuff. But I think it really has popped really cute. Now, let's see, there's some of these guys right here. Where can I think if I take them and I wrap them through this loop on my flower, and I will show you a close up here in a little bit. And I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a twist, because these are wire. Give them a tiny twist. And, well, I thought they were wire. They're not twisting, so they must be plastic. And I just thought they would look kinda neat. Hanging right in there, and actually I like them there. This is too bad they are plastic instead of a wire. That worked very nicely. Good. I like it. That was the finishing touch that it needed. Oh, and then bats. Let's put a bat on it. Well, Dollar Tree, let's not make stuff that falls apart so easily. It broke. The stem completely broke off of it. Hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to do purple anyway because I think uh, there's a lot of black that it might not show up anyway as well. All right, let's take the scissors. I thought it had an opening at the bottom. Okay, let's hope these ones don't break off like that did. What is it? There we go. Let's put a bat, like, lying. Let's put it right in here. Clipping it, because it's those clips. The ones from the Dollar Tree that clip. Let's see. Is it going to hold? That'll work. That's kind of cute. And then maybe let's just have one down here. Yeah, I like that. You'll, I'll show it to you in a little bit. So I think this came out cute. I like it a lot. Well, I hope I was able to give you an idea and inspire you to make a lantern of your own. This was definitely inspired from Ramon. So if you have never heard of him, look him up. He's very good. He does a lot of flower arranging wreaths and garlands and things like this for all the different occasions. And he's good. He's really, really good. So, it's my own take on what he did, but he did something similar. He did tree branches from his yard. Well, I didn't go get tree branches from my yard, although I do have some, but I thought they were too stiff and rigid and just didn't flow the way I wanted them to. And it was harder to make them smaller. So this is what I came up with. So now I'm gonna just show it, the rest of it to you on video and still shots. So what I wanted to say to all of you is, oh, have fun decorating this Halloween. You can do this. I'm a really strong Christian, but I don't think there's anything wrong with having a little fun with Halloween. I'm not going to get into any part of the satanic part of it and 
the ghosts and the demons. If I do, they're fun and cute little things. They're little yeah. witches, and, but they're going to be cute and they're going to be fun. None of it's going to be demonic or scary or anything like that. The scariest I'm going to get probably is, was my intro video to uh, the Halloween. And that was just because we were walking around in the mountains up there above, Colorado, above Central City, Colorado. And it was a glorious day. I don't know if you saw any of the sky in that video. The sky was amazingly blue. And it was absolutely the most peaceful day ever. And so my creepy music didn't fit the way it actually felt that day. But I knew I wanted to make it nice and just a little spooky. And I was trying to be humorous. You're expecting something scary to pop out. And then, whoa, it was me, you know. <laughs> It just was trying to be funny. So that's as good as I'm going to get on the real scare factor. There might be some creepy little aspects here and there. But the intent for Halloween for me is to literally just have fun. We have a Halloween party. Uh, we dress in costumes. And us adults even go trick-or-treating. It's just something we do. It's fun. Um, it's all I have fun with is Halloween. It's just to have fun with it. I don't take it serious. I don't know. I mean, I don't like what Halloween represents, but I do believe that there's a fun aspect to it that we can do, bring out. Just the fall look with scarecrows and smiling pumpkins. If that's as far as you want to go, then go for that. Have fun your way. To me, I don't mind bringing out a little bit more like the witches and, and the black crows and skeletons and maybe some zombies and little vampires as long as they're done in fun type of ways. So you have fun with your Halloween decorating. And you all, happy decorating and take care and God bless.